A hacker can hijack every camera in your office in less time than it takes to microwave popcorn. Stay right here and in the next 10 minutes, you'll know how to spot, dodge, and shut down every modern cyber attack. No jargon, no fluff, just rapid fire defenses you can actually use. Imagine this, you're browsing for a free live stream of a big game. You click a flashy play button, the tab freezes for a split second, and your webcam's tiny green light flicks on. You didn't press anything else, but a stranger just gained front row seats to your living room. Welcome to Click Jacking, the first landmine on our tour. Hackers overlay an invisible button on top of the one you think you're hitting. The fix? Browser extensions that highlight hidden frames and, most important, never trust a random play button on a sketchy site. Phishing is next, and it's the internet's version of a carnival-rigged game. Looks normal, but step right up and you lose. You get an email that screams, your bank account is locked. The logo is perfect. The link even says bankofamerica.com until you hover and see a weird dot root domain. Your move, turn on two-factor authentication everywhere and build a five-second hover habit before every click. Level up that bait and you get spear phishing. Same trick, but customized just for you. Maybe it mentions your actual boss's name or the project you posted about on LinkedIn. It feels personal because it is. The attacker scraped your social profiles for ingredients. Counter it by making your feeds a little more boring. Hide your emails, scrub birth dates, and reject random connection requests. Add encryption-wrapped extortion, and you've got ransomware. One morning, every file on your laptop is replaced by a skull icon and a countdown. Pay $600 in crypto or kiss your wedding photos goodbye. Hospitals, police departments, Fortune 500 companies, they've all paid up. Dodge this bullet with automatic cloud backups and basic cyber hygiene, patched software, and zero sketchy USB drives. Speaking of malicious software, malware is the junk drawer label for Trojans, worms, and spyware. Think of your computer as a nightclub. Malware is the shady guy who slips past the bouncer, blends in, and pockets everyone's wallets. Keep the bouncer strong. Run real-time antivirus, and yes, update it weekly. Out-of-date signatures are like last season's security badge. Slide deeper, and you meet rootkits, the vampire cousin of malware. Once inside, they bury themselves so deep in your system, you can't see them with normal tools, like a burglar living between your walls. Best defense? Bootable rescue media that scans before the operating system even wakes up. Attack number seven is the digital stampede called Distributed Denial of Service, or DDoS. Picture 10,000 water balloons slamming your front door at once. Legit visitors can't get in. Hackers rent botnets of hijacked IoT devices. Everything from smart fridges to baby cams to flood a target server. Mitigate with cloud-based traffic scrubbing and rate-limiting rules at your firewall. Eighth on the hit list is the man-in-the-middle attack. Picture two friends passing secret notes in class. A nosy kid intercepts each slip of paper, copies it, then passes it on so no one notices. On Wi-Fi, that nosy kid is a rogue hotspot spoofing Starbucks Wi-Fi. The moment you auto-connect, every password you type flows through the attacker's laptop. Shield yourself with HTTPS-only browsing and a mobile VPN that flips on the second you leave home. Slide one layer deeper into the internet's plumbing and you'll find DNS spoofing, the evil twin of your phone's contact list. When you type facebook.com, DNS is the directory that turns that name into an IP address. Poison that directory and suddenly facebook.com points to a carbon copy phishing site. The cure, use secure DNS over HTTPS or the built-in DNSSEC resolvers from services like Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1, so tampered records get rejected on site. Here comes SQL injection, the pry bar that cracks open badly coded websites, a sneaky browser address like slash login question mark username equals admin single quote or single quote one single quote equals single quote one forces the database to cough up every user credential. Think of it as whispering the secret admin password through the keyhole and the lock just opens. If you build sites, 
parameterize every query, and validate input like your paycheck depends on it, because it does. Quick pulse check. We've blitzed 10 attacks already. That's the halfway mark, so stick with me for the nastiest half. Cross-site scripting, or XSS, is SQL Injection's flashy cousin. Instead of raiding the server, it smuggles malicious JavaScript into a web page so visitors' browsers run it on the spot, like a bakery that lets customers write their own labels, and a prankster replaces blueberry muffin with steal everyone's cookies. Mitigate with output encoding and content security policy headers that block rogue scripts. Next is session hijacking. After you log in, a site hands out a tiny ID cookie that proves, yep, still you. Snatch that cookie through XSS, MIT M, or public Wi-Fi sniffing, and an attacker bypasses the password screen entirely. Your two-prong defense, enforce HTTPS at all times, and enable same site equals strict cookies to keep them fenced in. Password spraying feels like brute force, but lazier and more effective. Attackers take one common password, think summer 2024, and try it against thousands of accounts so no single user sees rapid fire failures. Stop it with account lockouts on first attempt, and better yet, ditch password only auth for hardware security keys. Which leads us to classic brute force. That's the battering ram script that slams every possible combination at your login until the door splinters. Rate limit logins, salt and hash passwords with algorithms like BAcrypt, and set minimum length policies that push guesses into the billions. Now let's kick down the door on zero-day exploits, fresh bugs the software maker hasn't even discovered yet. Think of your app as an apartment building. A brand new crack appears in the foundation overnight, and burglars slip through before the landlord wakes up. You can't patch what doesn't exist, but you can shrink the blast radius, use auto-update for everything, run programs in separate user accounts, and never grant admin rights unless champagne is involved. Follow that with credential stuffing. A cousin of password spraying, except the attackers aren't guessing. They're reusing real logins dumped from earlier data breaches. If you repeated that old Netflix password on your crypto exchange, Congratulations, you just handed over the keys to the vault. Cure it with a password manager that spits out unique 20-character gibberish, plus two-factor authentication so recycled credentials fall flat. Attack 17 is the sneaky drive-by download. You visit a compromised blog, no clicks required, and a hidden iframe force feeds malware straight into your browser like walking past a bakery and gaining 10 pounds without tasting the croissant. Harden your browser with click-to-play plugins, kill unneeded extensions, and keep that sandboxed PDF reader up to date. Next up, watering hole attacks. Predators know zebras gather at the river, so they poison the water instead of chasing the herd. Cyber hunters hack a niche website your industry loves, say, a supply chain newsletter then inject exploits targeted at the specific browser versions they expect you to run. Your shield, reputation-based web filters, and strict patch cadence, so you're not the slow zebra sipping last year's browser. Number 19 is the headline maker, supply chain attacks. You might lock your office door, but what about the contractor installing your smart light bulbs? Hackers compromise upstream vendors. Remember the SolarWinds meltdown? and push poisoned updates to thousands of customers at once. Defend with software bills of materials, code signing validation, and a SOC team that treats admin login from build server alerts like a five alarm fire. The stealth attack people forget is the insider threat, a disgruntled employee or careless intern already sitting behind the firewall. No exploit needed when you've got a valid badge and a grudge. Data walks out on a thumb drive at lunch, or gets wiped in a coffee-fueled rage quit. Minimize the blast by following the principle of least privilege, logging every admin action, and deprovisioning accounts the minute someone's farewell cupcakes hit the break room table. Finally, cryptojacking sneaks in under the radar to kidnap your CPU for secret coin mining. Your laptop's fans rev like a jet, power bills skyrocket, and you're left wondering why Google Docs feels like lugging cement. Monitor for sudden spikes in processor usage, block sketchy JavaScript domains, and enable browser-level mining protection before your electricity meter catches fire. 
we've covered attacks from invisible code to human drama. Proving cybersecurity is as much about habits as hardware. Master the habits and you'll outsmart 99% of threats. Bookmark this video and share it with the least techie person you know. Quick victory lap? You've just sprinted through 20 distinct cyber threats armed with plain English defenses you can deploy today. If this rundown saved you a future migraine, smash that like button so the algorithm pays it forward. Have a favorite horror story or a hack we missed? Drop it in the comments. Your tip could land in next week's episode.